a looming threat for a college student heading back to school very soon. Scammers are targeting them because they think they're easy prey. Tonight, Valley News Team's Katie Opperly has what can be done to stay safe. When you get into college, you're not really thinking about, oh, I need to protect my social security number. You're worried about, oh, all these classes, you're constantly studying. And that's what makes college students the perfect target for identity theft. From using public Wi-Fi to applying to internships, Consumer Reports says there are people out there looking to prey on eager students that may not know any better. Morella says he's experienced this firsthand through phone calls and emails. It just asks if you want an internship with this guy who's currently a professor that's abroad and he needs you to do some easy office work for $5,000 for the summer. But then it asks for your personal information. Morella says it's easy for students to get swept up in the moment and not think about how it could impact your security. Abby Phil says she's not surprised either that college students are being targeted. Sometimes taking a second to pause and ask why are they asking for that information is not always something that, that folks do, especially if you're not um, trained to be thoughtful in that. But that's exactly what Jeremy Straub from NDSU's computer science program wants students to do. Start asking questions when people or websites ask for your information. Do I really need to fill this out? Why do I need to fill this out? And who am I giving it to? He says that before college students head off to school, parents need to sit down and talk with them about this threat. When your child's getting old enough that they need to know their social security number or other critical identifying information, driver's license number, um, and so forth, you should make it very clear when they can use that information and when they need to simply check with you before using it. Officials say as fall begins to creep closer, now is the time to start thinking about cyber safety. In Fargo, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. For more tips on how to protect your identity or to check out some of NDSU's resources for cybersecurity, go to our website, valleynewslive.com.